hey, sometimes you're the bug, sometimes you're the windshield. So the winning streak is over. I think we that need to no move problem. Lonzo. That ain't no problem. Huh? That ain't no problem. Well, not going to cry about it. Let's just win some more games. Roll tape. Hey everyone and welcome back to another edition of Uncle Dan's Best Bets here on the Buffalo Plus YouTube channel presented by Connors and Ferris. As always, before we get to the video, if you could please pause, like, comment, and subscribe. We really appreciate it as always as this video continues to grow. Over 33,000, tell your friends. Again, I don't think we express sometimes how much this means to us that we've grown the channel to this point. So. Again, if you appreciate the content that we do here, I know Mike, Jenna, and myself really appreciate it. Again, and a shout out to our sponsor here for Uncle Dan's Best Bets, Bob Johnson Auto Group. Buying, leasing, trading in, want a new car, go to Bob Johnson Auto Group. I say it every time, but it's real. It's true. My wife and I both lease GMC terrains from Daryl out in Leroy. Go to Bob Johnson Auto Group. Tell them that Uncle Dan sent you. We really appreciate it. Okay, so. Sometimes you take a shot and you heat check it and you airball. So that's what happens. Four and eight week last week. Not great. No excuses. We went for the big card. It, di it didn't work out. That's fine. We get right back on the saddle and we get right back to some more picks. And again, this video is coming out about a day late. Halloween kind of threw a wrench into some things like that. So obviously... Still wanted to get the video out. We still do it every week for those loyal viewers who I always see in the comments. Really appreciate it. Comment in below your favorite picks of the week. So again, appreciate it as always. It was Halloween. It was trick-or-treating. Uh, a little bit of time off. So I'm putting this video out Saturday night. So again, I know some people are messaging saying, hey, you going to do it this week? Yes. It's not that I was turtling away from just having a not-so-great week. All right. With that being said, we are still 36, 32, and two on the year. We are still four games over 500, and we have a seven pack of plays, and we are doubling up on some games. I feel like I really like some games, and then there are some games I just, I was thinking about it, and, and I just couldn't do it. And obviously, we have some, some old reliable favorites in this one. So seven plays for week nine. We'll get right to it. Maybe a little post-Halloween candy for you to try and get this week going. All right. I like the Falcons minus three and a half at home against Dallas. I just think Dallas stinks. I just think they are a done team. Not very good. And on top of that, Dallas is coming off playing the 49ers. Physical game got beat up in San Fran. Now they have to go on the road into the dome where the Falcons play really well. High, fly, high flying offense and the Cowboys defense just stinks. It just does. So I'll lay the small number. This may be the square side. I, I just don't care. I'm not going to overthink this one. I will take the Falcons, more weapons offensively, better quarterback, and a fresher team compared to the Cowboys who are coming off getting physically beat up last week by the Niners. And I will also take the Falcons team total over 28 and a half. You can get it at plus 110. The Falcons have scored over 26 points in three out of their last four games. On the other side, Dallas has allowed 77 points in the last two games. They got Travion Diggs fighting with reporters after games outside the locker room because of effort, throwing him D's nuts jokes. Like, it's not great in Dallas. Things are going south quickly. This is on the verge of a team quitting. So I think the Falcons win, and I think they put up 30-burger on them. So those are the two plays in that game. Third pick of the week. I like the Patriots plus three at Tennessee. We just found out Drake May is going to play against the Titans. And this play is strictly one thing and one thing only. It's a Detroit Lions hangover. Every team this year that has played the Detroit Lions the week before has lost the following week. 0-6. Like, it, 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 it's a real thing. You play the Lions, next week you're going to lose. Every team has done it. It was kind of going around this week. Chris Long talked about it. Schefter tweeted it. This is, if they lose, that's fine. But this season, the biggest trend is if you play the Detroit Lions, the following week, your team loses. The Bills play the Bills, the Bills play the Lions later on in the season. We'll worry about that later. But again, Patriots plus three at the Titans. 
The sharp play of the week. Bears Cardinals under 44 and a half. This line started at 46 and a half. It's already dropped down two points. 16% of the bets are on the under while 40% of the money is on the under. So it's the sharp play. And that's what we're going to go with for how crazy that game ended. The bears defense still played their nuts off. Okay. So we're still able to hold Jaden Daniels and all of those things to field goals. They kept it close. The offense hasn't been great. I think they can keep Kyler Murray in check. I still don't necessarily trust the Bears offense. So good defense with a bad or questionable offense. That's a recipe for the under. It's also the sharp play. So we will follow that. The other one for this week is I will take, oh, these, this now gets into our Bills plays. Three Bills plays to wrap up the week. Sorry, my brain's all over the place. I like the Bills minus six at home. Don't think, just throw. I understand the Dolphins could be a desperate team. <laughs> It's just Josh Allen versus the Dolphins. 12 and 2 in his career straight up. I know he's only 7 5 and 1 or 7 6 and 1 in his career against the spread against them. I don't care. The Bills are the better team. They're at home where they're putting up massive numbers of points. They've scored 40 something, 37 and 31. Like they're just rolling at home. So I'm not going to think too much about this. I'm going with the Bills minus 6. If it loses, that's fine. I can still sleep at night. I will also take the Bills team total, just like I did the Falcons. I'm thinking the Bills team total at over 27 and a half. I know there's a lot of talk about this game could be close because two is back and all of these things with the Dolphins. Their defense stinks. They stink. And on top of that, Javion Holland has been ruled out and their best uh, defensive lineman has been ruled out with a fractal orbital bone. He's not playing either. Who is going to stop Josh Allen? They gave up 28 points against Kyler Murray in a decent Cardinals offense. Bill's offense is rolling, really playing well. Amari Cooper seems to be maybe, maybe not. I don't care. Josh Allen owns the Dolphins. This is a don't think, just throw. I think the Bills put up another 30 points. I, I know all the talk is always about the offense for the Dolphins. I just don't know who's going to stop them. On the Buffalo Plus podcast and, the, and, the, and our show we did this week, I have it as 40 to 20. I think there's going to be a ton of points in this game. And I think Josh Allen just, I don't know who's going to slow down the Dolphins. On the Dolphins is going to slow them down. And also, lather, rinse, repeat, guys. Until the books make the adjustment, I'm not going to stop. Khalil Shakir over. It's now 49 and a half receiving yards. He has caught 36 of his 38 passes thrown his way this year. He has cleared this number of 49 and a half in five out of his seven games this year. And one of them, he played on pretty much one ankle in that Jets game. So, He's done it in pretty much every single game this year. He has been getting better and better and better and better and better. So Keon Coleman wasn't listed right now as a prop bet on DraftKings, the book that I follow. So that could pop up later in this week. But again, just not going to change. Khalil Shakir over receiving yards. That is it. A shorter video. I wanted to get this out. A seven pack of plays for week nine. Falcons minus three and a half. Falcons team total over 28 and a half. Patriots plus three, Bears, Cardinals under 44 and a half, Bills minus six, Bills team total over 27 and a half, and Khalil Shakir over 49 and a half receiving yards. Special shout out, as always, to Bob Johnson Auto Group. Go there. Tell him, Uncle, tell them, Uncle Dan sent you. Really appreciate it. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the Buffalo Plus YouTube channel. If you are here, tell a friend. Appreciate it, as always. Bills game tomorrow. If you're watching this Saturday night, or Sunday morning. Appreciate it as always. Like, comment, subscribe, all those fun things. Best of luck to your bets tomorrow. We'll catch you next time here on the Buffalo Plus YouTube channel.